Lucky for me, nothing can stay hidden forever. Bad enough you read my diary, but to publicly expose my naked thoughts is unconscionable. I was never going to publish them. I just wanted to know that I could. I was upset about you and Dan. And I'm so sorry. I never thought Gossip Girl would steal my computer with everything on it. Well, I took Dan's phone so he wouldn't see anything, but I'm just postponing the inevitable if she keeps releasing pages. I wouldn't worry about Dan. He's a writer. He knows that diaries are all about exploring your thoughts. Like all those terrible things you said about me. That's not how you really feel. It is now. Oh, another day of wedding planning where my mother needs to make me small so she can be the star. There goes that relationship. No big deal. Who needs a mother? You better find a way to stop this before I lose everyone I ever cared about. I will, right away. Dorota! We need to find every damning thing I ever wrote so we can be proactive about damage control. Every damning thing since grade school is a lot of damning. Do you want to steam laundry in Siberia? Mobilize the troops! What could be more interesting than saving my future? Your past. <sighs> this is all Serena's fault. She said to fix it, it just made it worse. Go. Not you, I have a new task for you. I'm not comfortable kissing Dan. I'll manage matters of my heart. You find every secret Serena has. I need the best one to destroy her. <sighs> I just hope Chuck and Dan don't see this. For my father's press conference this afternoon, make sure you only have hard sources. The Times, Journal, no Perez. What is it? This new romance with Dan is fun, but is cultural stimulation enough? What if I never love anyone more than I love Chuck? Looks like someone forgot a D at the end of that word. Guess we just answered who's in Blair's heart. Question is, is there room for two? Is the reason you can't say you love me because you're still in love with Chuck? No. Then I need to know how you feel about me by tonight. Dan. We're supposed to be spending the summer in Italy together, and I don't want you coming unless I know where we stand. 